everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy, I have Roman Spice, back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share. And of course guys, happy new year to you all. It's Manchester United 2, Aston Villa 1, Manchester United level on points with Liverpool. You get me? Hey, can you? <laughs> what is that feeling? Liverpool fans, can you feel that, bruv? Can you feel that? That's us breathing behind your necks, bruv. You know, that same breath that your girl feels every night when you're behind her. That's what I'm talking about. That's the type of warmth you're feeling right now. You're like, what is that? Oh, it's, it's a Manchester United fan right behind you. You get me? Yes, I am pleased we have won with being Aston Villa. A tricky, tricky game. But yes, we've, uh, we've, we've won. We've won. We've done a thing. And now, we are level on points to Liverpool. What can we say? But well, thank you, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, for starting a new year for, for us. You know, a good new year. You know, you know, new year, new Man United. You know what I mean? Uh, hopefully, it's going to be a good year for us. You know, like you said, 21 in 2021. You know, title 21 in 2021. But obviously, let me settle my ass down because I don't want to get crazy. But I am pleased. I'm happy. You you guys are gassed, just like I am, man. Like, Liverpool, of course, will be playing on Monday. But who cares? Let's enjoy this right now, you know. Hopefully, they will lose. They will lose against Southampton or draw against Southampton since they dropped points against Newcastle and you didn't expect that. They dropped points yeah. against West Brom. You didn't expect that. Let let, let, let Ralph Hassel Kussel sort them, man them out, you know. Sort those dirty scousers out. You know what I mean? The scousers, they need to get the fight in a Monday. You know, hopefully Southampton go down there and beat those bloody scousers 2-1 or 2 nil. You know what I mean? Yes, I would love to see that. I would love to see that so you can fully breathe behind your neck. <laughs> and guys, let's go. Let's dive straight into that match. Oh, oh, that first 20 minutes. Guys, we was wonderful. We was excellent. Creating chances against Villa. Villa having problems. But at the same time, Villa, tricky team. What a tricky team. Aston Villa. Jack Grealish was a problem. He was a problem throughout that whole 90th minute. But we dealt with him. With the Ovar boy, if if it's if either gonna be Aaron Wambasako or Eric Bay Bay done a thing today. Congratulations to my guy Eric Bay man to four more guys. Change connects that eight. Those are the guys. Huh? You obviously don't understand, of course, innit? You don't understand, but Eric Bay understands, innit? Marshall understands and Paul Pogba understands. You don't know, like. But yeah, Anthony Marshall making it one 0 This more guy, man. My show, AM9, AM9. The guy in the building with a wonderful acrobatic header, like a nice diving header, you know. You know, and that's the thing that Anthony Marshall got in his locker that most of you pagans are hating about. You know, how can you hate on AM9, my guy, you know? Don't, don't do that. Like, guys, you know, there's other people to hate on because, you know, Rashford plays shit today, but, you know, we're not going to get out to him, you know. That's Sir Marks Rashford, you know, you know, the guy that, you know, ended child poverty, you know. Can't, you can't you can't move to him no more. You get me? But Marshall scored a brilliant goal. Brilliant cross by Iron Man Wan Bissaka. And I sit from him again, you know. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. You know, he's he's been working on his, you know, going forward. And everyone just keeps getting on to Iron Wan Bissaka by getting forward. You know, and I I I see that he doesn't have bad feet. I don't see what everyone talks about sometimes, you know. I can clearly see that he's got some skill, he knows how to play, you know, he knows how to um, knock the ball forward and all that kind of stuff he's, you can see that, that he used to be a winger yeah but some people are just not happy that he's not good enough going forward maybe because of course he used to be a winger but most of the times in his professional career he played as a defender so he probably switched his mindset and the way he plays his game but him delivering a wonderful cross to Martial Martial scoring that brilliant brilliant header it started off good for us and then we just conceded really 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 easily with poor defending I went beside again you know it's not his fault, you know. He just wasn't covering and his flank and also marking Jack Grealish, you know. Jack Grealish being able to be free in that moment that we've conceded the goal, he was free. And he exploited our side of the field where Aaron Ramsack was supposed to be defending. But nevertheless, in the second half, of course, Bruno Fernandes, Paul Pogba doing a thing, getting fouled, winning us that penalty, 
Paul Pogba Labile is on form right now. He's on job. He is on job. Ah, yeah. He is on job today, man. And then, and then of course, Bruno Fernandes coming out of nowhere with that penalty again. Not that normal, usual penalty that you usually get, you know. He didn't give you that average, you know, plain vanilla. Today, he gave you chocolate penalty, you know. A flavoured penalty. Not a plain Jane vanilla, you know, hop, skip, bang. No. Today was flavoured, man. And that, so that Aston Villa Martinez knows exactly what I'm going today that he ain't going to do no hop, skip, bang. He's going to go straight and give you chocolate flavoured penalty, you know. You know, obviously, I'm saying chocolate flavoured because I'm chocolate myself, you know. So obviously he's giving us that chocolate flavored penalty, you know, that sweet knife. Mm, you know what I mean? The match ended 2 1. Pretty much a good game, you know. Overall, it was a very good game for the neutrals. You know, Aston Villa was challenging. But we are joint first, you know. Liverpool, yeah, soon we're going to pass you. We're going to pass you one of these days. I'm gassed right now I'm just talking crud, yeah. But obviously, that's reality, you know. You know, you never know in Manchester United. You just never know. Overall feeling, guys, I, I'm. Over the force of that game, good, good. You guys should be feeling good as well. What you're seeing with Manchester United so far, you're seeing slight improvement. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad with that. I'm, I'm pleased that we're seeing slight improvements. You know, I'm so pleased. You know, because the start of the season, where was we? And look at us now. You know, having the last laugh. Hopefully, by the end of the season, we will have the last laugh, laugh because you don't want to laugh right now. Apart from that, please and happy man of the match today got to be Anthony Martial for me. AM9 was doing things. The goal was brilliant, but his overall involvement play was absolutely great. Eric Bailly was also a contention, you know, wonderful defender he is. And, and Maguire with Bailly, they look, they look good. They look really good. Like Lindelof and Maguire, I think that's done now. That chapter and that story is done. It has to be done. My donkey of the match, of course, today could have to be Marcus Rashford. Everything that he did today frustrated me, annoyed me, you know, you know. You know, each time he got on the ball, I just knew exactly what he was going to do. You know, thing, CPU shut down again. And that's a prime example of uh, Mark Rashford's CPU shut down. There was a moment where he was meant to pass and he decided to shoot. And that was when his CPU crashed down. He was supposed to give it to Anthony Marshall. But Anthony Marshall let him have it. But again, Mark Rashford, even though you're on 14th goal today, you was my donkey of the match. You know, it could have been anyone else. But it's because you was the least ineffective making the wrong decision. Fans... Get gas, get excited, enjoy it right now. You know, I don't even know what to say, man. Am I really Oli out? I don't know. I'm probably more like Oli in right now because he's trying to sway me back, you know. But, you know, one moment of stupidness can put me back to where I was. Guys, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share the video. Remember to follow the official Instagram account of Reggie Night TV, which is Reggie Night TV 1. You can follow me. On Instagram as well, which is Ivory underscore Spice across with the same as Twitter. And of course, guys, as always, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it red united. I'm out.